What is going on fellow gamers? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of TheOverShield.com. You're currently listening to the sweet vocals of none other than your co-host Manny, not Andrew, but we all know he's an amazing guy with mad guitar skills. But today, we are reviewing the latest chaotic Vita release, Tokiden. This game is a guaranteed, edge of your seat, non-stop popcorn pounding action, fly-by-night JRPG that took us all Vita users by storm. And if you think about it, what else would you expect from developers of Koei? You know, those demigods who brought you titles like Dynasty Warriors, Kessen, and then this game to stir the pot? So let's jump into this head first, shall we? Our story takes place in a medieval fantasy-like setting of Japan. Think the set of 47 Ronin, only this time no Keanu. As with any JRPG port, you start out by creating your own story as the stereotypical destined hero slash badass who's so much better than everyone else when it comes to wielding weapons. Why, you ask? Well, as the game puts it, you're from the East, which means you fought some beastie baddies in your day. So as the Mononofu, or Slayer, you're a trained warrior who kills demons in order to protect the village of heroes who previously saved you from a monster boss encounter. In addition to killing the demons, you free souls, or mentama, of previously consumed people or warriors by the demons. The ultimate goal is to slay enough monsters to eventually meet the big daddy of them all and to prevent the second awakening, or basically when the demons come crawling out of the woodworks. Some things I liked about the story were between saving the village and freeing souls, to me this gave depth to what could have been a story of repetitious level grinding plot progression. Having a strong supportive cast of characters also made me genuinely feel like I wasn't alone and that I had company along my journey. Overall, the story had an aggressive pacing, and I felt thoroughly engaged and that progress was being made the entire time. Some things I didn't quite like were that even though there was a genuine attempt in character development, not just with your character, but with the others, in some cases I felt like it was often force, and this was easily overlooked by the intensive battle setup, which I'll go into later. Also, without ruining any spoilers, your teammates will consistently blame themselves for their own shortcomings, and in many cases vaguely refer to a previous memory as to why they're currently fearful of the present and the over-consuming monsters. Also, honestly, I did feel that the story was a bit linear, but fortunately it does introduce plot twists and character development to keep things fresh. And lastly, the story and the concept itself is really not all that new. Uh, I honestly felt that there were cases or references to earlier titles like Onimusha for the PlayStation, Monster Hunter, and also God Eater Burst for the PSP. And in fact, in many times I felt like Tokiden was really just a culmination of all three of these games. Gameplay is definitely the highlight of this title, as it should be with any game, especially if they're from Koei. As I hinted earlier, you progress through the story by signing up through sequential missions, much like you would see in Monster Hunter or God Eater Burst. Prior to each level, you have the option of equipping one of six different weapon sets, including the Greatsword, Dual Knives, Punching Gauntlets, Chain and Sickle, Spear, and lastly the Bow and Arrow. You can also select what kind of armor you want to equip. During each level, you have the opportunity to gather materials to buy, sell, or craft any armor and weapons, either through finding it within your surroundings or by killing demons. Naturally, each weapon has its own strengths and weaknesses, and not only how much damage is dealt, but also in your gameplay approach. For example, if you're using the bow and arrow, you probably want to act more like a medic and keep your distance from enemies, while the player using the punching gauntlets would make a great tank and should stay close to the action. That said, the Mintama, or Freed Souls I mentioned earlier, breaks these limitations of expected playstyles altogether. So let's say you choose the Twin Knives and you want to fight up close, but you also want to play as the Medic as well. Well guess what? It can be done, as the different Mintama you collect along the way have different special abilities that you can temporarily equip to your character. You can also upgrade your Mintama so they become stronger and provide longer lasting stat boosts. The gameplay itself can seem repetitious at first, but being able to choose your own battles via level select helps you pace your time and character growth. This is perfect for those on the go trips when maybe you only have 30 minutes or an hour to play.
presentation is gorgeous on the Vita. There are times I have to remind myself that I'm not on the PlayStation 3, or possibly something even better. If you don't believe me, check out the cutscenes and battle sequences. I have yet to encounter the bugs of most action games like frame rate or screen tearing. The one gripe I do have is the lack of ability to explore the levels themselves. Often you'll find yourself encountering breathtaking views only to discover that this is a visual facade without the free roaming effect that games like this would suggest. Replayability. You can always replay any level you've completed for the purpose of either shortening your time or by acquiring materials that are exclusive to that level's monsters. There's also a multiplayer component where you can play ad hoc, which means either without an internet connection or by going online and meeting complete strangers. I actually attempted the latter, but with brief success as this game is fresh off the grill and needs more players on its servers. So, our final verdict, I give this game a solid 8 out of 10. That's right, I'm not being generous, but I'm willing to grow a pair and defend a deserving title. Now some of you are going to scream Koei fanboy after hearing my previous statements on our podcast. And frankly, I won't deny this fact, but I strongly believe we have grounded reason here to suggest that this title is beyond just the worth of your time, but also one in which you'll find yourself coming back to repeatedly. The storyline is progressive, the action is fierce, and the added multiplayer experience brings new life to what some would mistake for a typical JRPG. So put your computer to sleep and put down that smartphone and go out and pick up Tokiden. This concludes this review and thanks for checking in to another episode of TheOverShield.com. This is Manny signing off saying, hey, I'm not Andrew Shadow. <laughs> <laughs>